This video shows the facet TA216 electromechanical calculator after a restoration project which took just over a year to complete. The facet TA216 is one of the most intricate machines of its time and was amongst the last of the pinwheel calculators. It was the culmination of over 30 years of facets engineering development. This machine has a volume of just less than one half a cubic foot that contains upwards of a thousand complex and very detailed parts. The machine can not only perform the four arithmetic functions of add, subtract, multiply and divide, but it also has an automatic back transfer mechanism which is used to transfer the result residing in the accumulator back onto the setting rotor to be used for additional calculations. It is fully automatic in operation with its 240 volt AC electromechanical mechanism. It has an 11 digit setting register in which numbers are entered, a 9 digit counter register which tallies the quantity of numbers entered, and a 16 digit accumulator register to store and display the results of each calculation and an 8 digit internal memory register. Numbers are entered via the 10 key numeric keyboard which has molded through keys thus eliminating anywhere on the key tops. This particular model was manufactured in Sweden in 1964 and has serial number 1512491 and chassis number 158984. The original 1964 purchase price was 3200 Swedish krona which at the historical dollar to pound exchange rate of 2.8 equates to approximately £4,700 or $13,200 in today's money. Anyone wishing to restore their own model CA216 can email me via John Wolfe's Web Museum, whereupon I will provide a link to all the relevant restoration manuals for this machine, including a very detailed 180 page photographic manual compiled whilst completing this restoration project. This particular restoration manual gives step by step instructions showing how to remove each module from the machine and provides detailed cleaning, setting, adjustments and reassembly sequences of all the parts plus testing and fine-tuning instructions, thereby enabling this amazing work of mechanical art to once again function as intended. See the description below for a link to John Wolfe's Web Museum.